Yo, what up, YouTube the Assist Man? I'm bringing you this game from the scope. And if you noticed, this isn't Call of Duty. This is no Call of Duty gameplay. This is Halo 3 ODST. And I have a story to tell about this Halo 3 gameplay. Now, I've put a couple different Halo gameplays up on my channel in the past few weeks, past few months. Back in the days, before I was a Call of Duty player, I used to be a Halo 3 player. And I used to play Halo 3 all the time, like every night. And I was actually really good at the game. Like, I was really good at the game at one point. I built my account up to like a level 50 and ranked play, and it was all good. But then, I kind of got hooked on Modern Warfare 2 when that came out. And I primarily switched over to just being a Call of Duty player from Modern Warfare 2 on. And I didn't play Halo for like years. But... I got the itch to start playing Halo again because, you know, I'm kind of getting burnt out of the Call of Duty games and you know how they are. But I got the itch to, to play some Halo 3 again. So I went to GameStop like a few weeks ago. And I don't know if I told you guys this story or not, but I got a used um, limited edition Steelbook Halo 3 game for like $4. And I thought, man, that was the deal of the century. One of my buddies, uh, EY, bought it uh, as well. And uh, the Big Andy bought it, and another one of my friends, Giuseppe, bought it, and we all thought that we was about to start playing. And I really like to play social big team on Halo 3 because you get all the vehicles, and it's just fun. You know, I like to play the fun games, and that grenade throw right there was just ridiculous. My grenade, my skills in this game have diminished greatly. I am so bad at this game. This is actually probably the second or third game I've played of Halo 3 in probably like about... I'd say five years, but that guy got beat down, you know, so he deserved that. But anyway, so me and a whole bunch of my friends played, and we like to play social big team. So I popped in the Halo 3 disc and realized that you cannot play any map except for Social Slayer and Ranked Team Slayer if you don't have all of the DLC map packs. So I was like, all right, I, you know, obviously had the DLC because I bought it, you know, back when I used to play this game. So I re-downloaded the Mythic map pack. I re-downloaded the Legendary map pack. I know you see that double kill. I just threw down this spaceship and I have no idea what that thing even does. I forgot what that thing does. But I'm kind of doing work right now. But anyway, I actually downloaded all the maps. And then after I downloaded all the maps, I still couldn't play the game. And I was like, why? Well, I guess... You have to have this other map pack that came out after I started or after I stopped playing Halo 3. Now, I didn't have this map pack. So I went to the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace, looked for the DLC, found the map pack. The only problem was the map pack was $15. I'm like, hold on. I'm not spending another $15 on top of the money I already spent for the game just to play the game. That's ludicrous. So then one of my friends and another one of my subscribers told me, you know, if you buy Halo 3 ODST, it's the same Halo 3 game and get beat down. It's the same Halo 3 ODST game, but it comes with all the maps. So I was like, that's a move. So a day or two later, I went back to GameStop, seen if they had a used copy of Halo 3 ODST. And to my surprise, they did. And it, what makes it even better was that it was only like $9. So for $9, I got me a Halo 3 ODST, and I am getting off right now, but oh, look at that. See, that's a pro move. I threw down that bubble shield when I knew I was about to get killed by that Warthog. So I got me the Halo 3 ODST game, and then obviously I started playing it, and the cool thing is all the maps are right on the disc. I didn't have to download anything at all, so it was great. So if you plan, or if you used to be a Halo 3 player, and you want to start getting back into it eventually and you don't no longer own the game, or you don't have the maps, go and buy the used version of Halo 3 ODST for like $9, $10. Because if you don't, and you just buy Halo 3, you're going to have to buy all the map packs in order to play the games. And that's like kind of ridiculous. It's like, okay, they force you to buy all these map packs for like a 6-year-old, 7-year-old game just to play it. And that's the thing. This game came out, you know, Halo 3 came out in 2007. I probably played this game for a good, you know, year and a half, two years. And then probably the last time I played this game was about 2009. And look at that guy. He didn't even kill me with the rocket launcher. I picked up his rocket launcher and I'm probably going to die because it had no bullets in it and that was a noob move. But I used to be really good at the game. I didn't play it for like literally like five years. So I decided to pick it back up. And I played probably, you know, three or four games. 
this is probably like the third game I played. The first two games I did all right. I think I went like negative a few one game. The second game I think I went like positive three. But you know, it was actually still good for me because you know my skills have diminished at this game. But at the same time. It feels like, you know, I'm still pretty good at it. And I know the more that I play it, you know, the more that I'll start getting the feel for the game. Because I don't remember the maps. I don't remember where the guns spawn. I don't remember anything. I barely even know how to drive vehicles anymore. But I got this rocket launcher in my hand. Let me give it to that guy. There's another guy over here. He said he wants it too, and that was a double kill. But hopefully, I'm hoping that my skills actually come back. Because one thing about Halo 3 with the opposite of Call of Duty is that... Call of Duty has just gotten just so bad over time that sometimes when I play it, I lose interest and I don't want to play it anymore. I don't enjoy it anymore. But Halo 3, on the other hand, when I play Social Big Team, I play with a lot of people. There's a lot of vehicles and cool stuff to drive around. The game is just cool. There's no lag in it. You know, it's just an awesome game. So I actually have more fun playing Halo 3. So you're going to be seeing, you know, a few more Halo 3 ODST um, gameplays on my channel, which is awesome. And I'm on a killing spree right now. I haven't had one of those since, like, Bill Clinton was in office. And that guy doesn't even know how bad I just saved his life. He did not have that peripheral vision. I think he was blind in his right eye and did not see that guy coming. But I got the shotgun in my hand. I remember back in the days, man, the shotgun used to be my favorite gun. I used to just love running around with the shotgun and just shooting people and beating them down. And that's another thing I like to do with the assault rifle. I just like to beat them down. And, oh, look at that guy get hit right in the neck with the shotgun. But, yeah, all in all, I started this game a little later on in the game. But I had a lot of fun playing this game. This is, like, the first time I played this map in, like, the longest time. And... The Warthogs and all the vehicles on this game, I can't wait to start playing this game more and dive into it and check it out again. So, if you guys, oh, this guy wants me to get in the Warthog and I'm about to get in it and I get in it and look what happens. He gets out of it and leaves me here chilling by myself. Typical new player. But anyway, if you guys have Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and you want to play with me, let me know, man. If you guys are on my friends list, let's play because I have a lot of fun playing this game and not too many of my friends actually have this game so I don't, you know, have people, too many people to play with. So I actually did pretty well. I had 21 kills. I finished the top of the leaderboard or tied for the top of the leaderboard. So I think that was an awesome game all around. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up like. Go ahead and throw me a comment on it if you want. And um, that's about it. I went 21 with 7 assists and 8 deaths. I went plus 13. YouTube, I am out.